Hey everyone, my name is Erica. Thanks for joining me today for a discussion about concept mapping, one of the first steps you can take in your research process. Before we get started, there will be some activities in this module. Make sure you have a writing utensil and a piece of paper before we proceed. Let's jump in. One of the most important steps in the research process is defining your topic. Concept mapping is a brainstorming activity that can help you figure out what you already know about your subject and examine the relationships between those ideas. Ultimately, concept maps are graphical representations that are helpful for getting ideas down on a page. For the purpose of our time here today, I'm interested in knowing more about how different organizations, people, and the City of Seattle have responded to the recent population boom. I'm curious to know how green spaces have been affected. How has urban development and construction responded to the influx of people moving to the city? There's a lot going on with this research topic, so a concept map will help me organize concepts, related subjects, and subcategories to help inform my research. As you begin to think about starting your concept map, there are several topics, subjects, and ideas that you can include in this brainstorm as a good jumping off point. For example, are there any current events or issues regarding this area of research? Who are the people, organizations, and groups who might be involved, have an opinion, or are an expert in this area? Are there any existing policies that have influence in this topic? Is there a physical place, city, or area that is specific to this research? And finally, are there any challenges, problems, and questions involving this area of research? As you begin to think through the various concepts to include in your map that we mentioned in the previous slide, these following questions can help further guide you in your brainstorm. What would someone brand new to the subject need to know about it? What parts of this topic do you wish you understood better? What about this subject is most interesting to you? What are some problems or debate, debates involving this topic? A great question to keep in mind as you build this map is, are there ideas that naturally relate to each other? Are there common threads that you can weave together? Try to indicate where you think ideas belong and connect them in a way that makes sense to you. Great, so as you can see here, I've created a concept map based on the research topic from the previous slide. So to give you a little thought process as I created this concept map, um, I identified three main areas in my research topic. Those are green spaces, population growth, and the stakeholders that are involved. So when looking at the main bubble for stakeholders, which is on the far left-hand side, for example, I started brainstorming the key players that might be involved in the topic, such as the Seattle government and the various departments focused on green spaces. I also included citizens who might have or use green spaces in their neighborhoods. For the idea, uh, the main idea of green spaces, which is the middle concept, I'm curious to see what changes have occurred through city development, construction, and infrastructure, which I also included on the map. As you can see, some of these topics relate quite closely with the third major area of population growth, which I indicated with those connecting gray lines. As you can see, this is a very high-level brainstorm, which begins to help organize thoughts, makes connections, and sets the stage for my further research. Sometimes it's helpful to just get thoughts down on paper. And now it's your turn. On a separate sheet of paper, make a concept map of potential topic ideas based on your class assignment. Start by putting a broad concept that interests you in the center of the page and fill in related subjects and subcategories around it. Draw lines between them to indicate relationships. Please feel free to pause this video as you create your concept map. If you are having trouble getting started, it's okay to do a quick Google search and read up on your topic to establish a foundational understanding. That is the end of our time talking about concept maps today. Thank you so much for your time and attention and best of luck on your research journey.